Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this afternoon mountain weather update on this Monday. Let me take you to my bullet points. So this update will focus on a soaker potential in Colorado, and we're going to have snow, heavy wet snow, um, at higher elevations out of this, if this sets up the way it's looking, between 510 and 512. Um, we'll, look, we'll look at the snow levels, um, and the perfect setup would be as an Albuquerque low pressure. So we'll look at all that coming up in just a few minutes. I want to take you to my blog, chrystomer.com. And I talked about it, to Colorado Soaker and Snow Inbound. Take a look at it. This is definitely going to be a wet spring storm system. So forecast freezing levels. Um, I detailed these. They're high in the central mountain zone of Colorado. So these are the daily max men. So what it hits uh, during the warming of the day and then it falls at night. So we're looking at uh, you know the top of the 14ers right now, the daily 32 line is way up there at night, it's 12.3, so we're getting a lot of melting. Um, it does start to go down a little bit on 4.10, and then 4.11, 4.12, those are the two low days. Um, a max of 10,500 foot for the uh, freezing level line and 9,000 at night. So potentially we're looking at a rain-snow line around 9,000 feet um, in, in Colorado, especially right on top of the continental divide in east. So that's going to put the heaviest snow above that number. Um, and really, we're looking at the biggest snow above 10,000. Um, jumps up to 11,000 and 9,200 on 412, and then 413, it starts to rise again as warmer air comes in and the storm departs. I look at the forecast pattern, and I'm going to take this full for you right here. So this is 510. A couple of things to note. Look at the big dip in the jet. Southern Utah, New Mexico, Arizona, Southern Colorado. This is moving or translating in this jet support with an area of low pressure into the Albuquerque area, Southern Colorado. That would be a prime setup, maximizing the upslope flow into Colorado, slamming that moisture up against the Continental Divide and areas east. So that is 510 late. Here is 511 late. Low pressure has almost closed off or caught, caught itself off a little bit over southern Colorado. Um, this, again, is part of that Albuquerque low setup as the low is now moving out of Albuquerque and moving up the eastern plains of Colorado very slowly. So that's going to keep that uh, heavy precip locked in to areas right on the divide in Colorado and east. There could be a lot of rain down around Denver and the eastern plains up to Fort Collins and then in northeast Colorado. And interestingly enough, when you look back at this, four, this uh, 510 Wednesday, 510 could be a severe weather day over the eastern plains of Colorado with this kind of jet support, shearing winds in the upper atmosphere, warm out ahead of this thing. We could be looking at severe weather Wednesday, heavy rain Thursday, heavy rain into Friday morning with mountain snow continuing on the continental divide above 9,000. So there's a lot going on here. All right, let me look at uh, forecast timing. I'll take this full. So this is the forecast radar and satellite. So by Tuesday, here's the setup. Just waiting. Waiting. This is 510, 6 a.m. Here comes the low. Look at it right here, getting ready to set up. So there it is. That's Friday morning early. The low is still cranking. Heavy rain in green. Snow in blue, mix in purple. And you can see it through Colorado, even in the Friday morning. And then it begins to break away and move away into Saturday um, and potential a little bit of leftover moisture there coming new coming new moisture up from the south there into 513 through New Mexico and southern Colorado. So this low's definitely got some interesting characteristics if it does set up perfectly. Um, here are my forecast totals. So what I'm going to do is take those full as well. All right, here we go. So this is 58 through 517, but keep in mind the key days are 510 through 512. Um, and these will be grand totals. Look at the big numbers. So, you know, we're looking at one to two feet of heavy wet snow above nine to 10,000 in Colorado, right on top of the Continental Divide and East. So that's Loveland, that's Winter Park. Um, you know, a lot of the 14ers that sit in those areas, Grays and Tories, Beardstadt, Pikes Peak would get it. Um, less snow as you go west of the Continental Divide, but still potentially some spillover down into Summit County. I don't know how much. Uh, the numbers look big here, but it's yet to be seen. Um, this would what this is what I call a worst case scenario. This assumes that everything is perfect, perfect low setup, perfect track, perfect moisture, and everything. So this would be a worst case scenario. I'll give you some bonus material here. Um, a 3D look. So you're looking basically to the west 
There's Denver downtown. You can see the foothills. The numbers start to ramp up. Again, truly, though, the best snow is above nine or 10,000. So um, with the magenta colors up around Loveland, the Continental Divide, Beerstadt, the Tunnel, A Basin, potentially some spillover into Summit County, um, and then not quite as much as you go up towards Estes. You're a little bit low there. Again, this is really high elevation stuff. So there you go, guys. That's going to do it for this update. Uh, appreciate you tuning in here. I'll keep things updated as far as this soaker goes for, for Colorado in the coming days. Take care.